on that, uh, Alicia Silverstone, how many times have you now done this, this whole press thing called a junket? I did it for The Crush, yeah. and then I did it for Hideaway, and then I did it for Clueless, mm -hmm. and then Batman. It seems like since Clueless, we didn't hear about you for a while. And I'm wondering if that was ever a cause for concern, like, let's get this picture going, lest the public, you know, forget. I mean, they're so fickle and have short memories. But there was a kind of a long time there, wasn't there? I didn't notice it because I'm just living in my body doing my yeah. thing. <laughs> but, but maybe other people did. And that's probably good that, that they went, where'd you go? That's it. Keep that curiosity. <laughs> now here you are, not only in your body, but in this bizarre bat suit. Uh, tell me about your first experience trying on and acting in this suit. Did it encumber you? Did it give you a new sense of the character? What? Um, I think that the suits are the whole thing. Like, that is my, the suit is my character. <laughs> the suit and the mask. Yeah. Because there's no, it's really, really hard to speak at all, let alone act in, in the costume. You know, you, I didn't, I never really thought, like, what's my motivation in this scene <laughs> when I was in the suit? It was like, how do I speak? The suit gave I, you the motivation, I guess, huh? Yeah, I, I just, it was really hard to move. And, and uh, it was just, it was just like a funny thing, a funny thing. Maybe as a guy, I think it's mostly little boys who put on capes and go flying around the house as their favorite superheroes. But, but do girls do that too? Did you ever? Uh... Well, we dress up all the time, and that's why I think this is so great that there's a Batgirl, because I used to dress up all the time. And I know that little, I wasn't a big fan of dolls, but I know a lot of kids are really big fans of dolls. And I think it's really, really, a, this is a great thing for our society to say, you know, there's no gender preference. You don't, if I'm a little boy, I can pick the little girl doll to play with and I can pick the little boy doll to play with. And it doesn't mean anything, it doesn't matter. Yeah. And I don't have to pick the big macho doll so that I'm a big macho man. You know, I can like play with both. And same with the little girl. She doesn't have to just play with the little Barbie doll. She can play with, you know, a hero, a, like a, a strong figure, and yeah. not one of them is more powerful than the other. And so little girls are seeing you astride this motorcycle and maybe having a, a vision of their own, a role model of their own now. Yeah, you I think, think about that sometimes? Well, I just think it's great that there's, that there's an opportunity for kids to, to have a, mm -hmm. you know, not such a straight, narrow view on what, on what we're supposed to like and what we're supposed to Girls are supposed to be really pretty and cute, and boys are supposed to be really tough and big. It's not, it doesn't, that's not the way it is. It's interesting in a way that Batgirl is tough on the one hand and cute, quote, on the other. Uh, almost every character in Batman has a dual nature, doesn't they? Yes. And I just described your character. I was going to ask you to describe it. Yes. <laughs> but it is interesting. Do you think you're going to go on now? Will the character remain, and will you continue with more of these? Well, that's not up to me. That's up to um, Batman. Yeah, but you do know? you wonder about every other minute? If no, I lo I'm really proud to be a part of this this group, and and you know, we don't even I don't even know if they're gonna if we don't know yet if there's gonna be another yeah. one, and I'm on to my I'm, I mean this is not I really love acting and I love creating characters and 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 I could either take this another step or I could be done with it. It doesn't really matter. It's like it was a wonderful thing and I hope that I do it again, but I, I'm not waiting on it. I have all yeah. kinds of other things that are interesting. Actors have to develop a, a, an attitude like that. Take it as it comes. <laughs> it's been a pleasure to see you, Alicia you. Silverstone. Of course, we're talking about Batman and Robin, and we're here in Los Angeles. I'm John Tibbetts for KCTV 5.